somebody from a distance. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Hey. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Well, yes. Yes, it does. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? I'll start with her. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother, they never leave her side. Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. Right. Well, that's interesting. Maybe I will go deal with this Violet later. I want to explore the fort a little bit more. Where's the PX? Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. Should have a store around here somewhere. Hmm, okay. Maybe where all the tents are? Howdy. Name Sterling, first recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Got a good memory for faces, landmarks and such too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. I call her the Long Caribbean. Didn't always have the scope, I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gorbets reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different, so long as I could hit my targets. Used to be a ranger, one of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. 
Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I'd still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. I'm bitter root, first recon. You got a reason to talk to me? You trying to start trouble? Or do you really not know where I got that name? It's a con name. You know, the great cons? That's what my parents were. I figured I grew up around the bastards. They owed me a name after all they put me through. They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Served them right, if you ask me. It was a massacre. That's what a lot of NCR folk will tell you. Most of them feel plenty bad about what happened. But I was there. Saw it myself. I don't care what anybody says. The cons asked for Bitter Springs. They wouldn't leave the NCRB. My damn parents, too. They were just as bad as the rest. Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. I just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. Knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad, too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. It's like I tell Major Daughtry. Best not to look under a rock if you don't really want to know what's there. Could be that NCR found some blood on me and none of it mine. Could be that a few of those cons didn't die from NCR bullets. I had scores of my own to settle. Deeper ones than NCR ever had. Don't bother asking who they were with. Don't I? Mister, you never met my parents. My dad got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with folk for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR, and not just soldiers. Civilians, too. Even kids. Then he'd get high with his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed. Bunch of animals. And my mom? A couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some jet. Even the other cons said she was useless. Only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> How'd my dad say it? A smoking piece of ass. You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that, if you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons of Bitter Springs, I hadn't got my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beat down. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever want. Yeah, that's probably best. While, I guess. I don't keep too careful track of time. I like to keep things simple. Just focus on now. That's why they made me a sniper. You let your mind wander back a ways and you lose sight of what's in front of your eyes. Good way to miss a mark. Yeah, look, he's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. It's a long story. And I'd get tired of talking before it was through. I me. Mean, I would obviously know that it's not his father. 
They're scum. Lazy, trumped-up raiders. Most of the time, they're drunk or high, and when they're not shooting chems, they're selling them. Used to have a settlement up at Bitter Springs till they pissed off NCR and got slaughtered for their trouble. A lot of us got killed at Bitter Springs. A lot of them, I mean. My parents died, too. All right. Goodbye. There's supposed to be somebody here that sells stuff. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Hey, my man. Ten of spades. First recon sharpshooter at your service. The LT. Goral Betts gave it to me. See, I wanted to be ace of spades. But the LT says, sorry, kid, you're t t t too green. So he calls me ten instead. It's okay, though. I get a few more c c kills under my belt. He'll move me up to Jack. Jack of spades. Sounds better, right? I keep at it. Eventually, I'll make it to ace. I think I'll skip queen, though. <laughs> Shit. As long as I can remember, had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot on our ramp, way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f f farm kid, too. Oh, they recruited me, what, a year ago? Taught me to kick even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. Kicking ass. Mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter right now, looking for those f fiends to come back. When they show their faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one ki kill. That's the first recon way. Yeah, I'll s s see you around. Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. I'm Lieutenant Gorobetz, First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at first recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help. But I'd have her agree with the idea. He wasn't able to be a ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to first recon. Corporal Sterling was an NCR ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't. Okay. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole. If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Carry on. There seems to be quite a bit of quests here in this area. And named people, too. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Daughtry owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. Well, shit. Feel free to stick a knife in the old ego. Thought I made a name for myself around here. Guess that's as good a reason as any to quit this stinking trade. No glory. No easy money, no women, and no glory. Shit. I'd settle just for the women. Because I killed a couple of marks for him, that's why. You ever hear of Jackson? Or Night Terror? Damn right they were. And they were good too. Till I popped a couple shells in their assholes. Bam. Dead. Finished. Over. See, somebody gives me a job, I do it. Maybe I complain a little here and there, but my shit gets done. 
Oh, shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last in most jobs. Oh, yeah, a lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. <laughs> well, hey, field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. Simple. Gonna make myself some easy money. I got a plan. Once I get my cash from Daughtry, I'm going to head on over to Gamora and win big at cards. There's not as many people playing at Gamora, so that means I've got better odds of winning big. I got this figured out. I don't think you do. See, I thought the bounty hunting trade would be easy money, but it turns out it's hard work, so screw it. Also, I ran into this Mark who was a little too tough for me. I mean, I could have taken him. But with this guy, it might have cost me some bad burns or an ass rape. I'm all for risking my life, but I'm a little sensitive about my asshole. Okay. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Sure, dude. Whatever you say. Talking to you over here. I already talked to that guy, right? Yeah. I guess these guys move around a little bit. Oh, that's a bunch of refrigerators. Fairly big location, all things considered. They had like combat armor for sale here, though. Grass growing out of that pot. Living here already. Betsy. Go ahead and talk to her, I guess. Never seen you around before. What do you want? The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? Damn. Never had you pegged for the drill instructor type, but you got my attention. You can tell the lieutenant that I finally caved. I'll... get help. 
There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobets keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Yeah, doesn't sound like me at all, right? But it happens. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. What gave me away? The big gun, the shades, or the attitude? Yup, a lot of people make that connection. Big gun, sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. Yeah, try not to get killed. I could have said something really mean to you just now, but uh, I will be quiet. Well, since I guess that's a quest I completed, might as well. Sounds like we're running prim now. Complete it. And still, what can I do for you? I caught the tail end of what you said to her. Betsy looked like she'd been slapped right back into basic for a few seconds there. Let's hope that Betsy sticks with the treatment. Knowing her, she won't keep seeing Usanagi if she feels things are taking too long. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. Carry on. Well, I didn't find the guy selling things, so let's. Guess I can always try coming back here later. But yeah, let's let's just head up real quick to this medical clinic. And then we'll take a break for now, I suppose. Hopefully it won't be a, um, a long trip. My guess is it won't. How big could old Vegas possibly be? All things considered, this place doesn't look too bad. Must have got hit by some sort of bombs, though, for the roads be all falling apart like this.
Ja. When people have got nothing left, they can always turn to the followers. Oh. Hello. Not what I'm looking for though. When people have got nothing left, they can always turn to the followers. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Ooh, nice. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Uh. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Yeah, right. If I implant the probability calculator in your frontal lobe, you'll be able to calculate odds a little better. It's not quite the same as making you luckier, but you'll be able to nudge things your way more often. I can do the implant for 4,000 caps. That's all right. I have reserved a small part of my supplies for sale. The profits go directly to the purchase of additional supplies to help the less fortunate. Very well. Okay, well. That's all nice and good. Um, she got some decent amount of caps as well. Everything you see is funded by the followers of the apocalypse. We rely a lot on charity to provide low-cost medical services to the less fortunate. Yes, I am. I received my medical training at the Angels Boneyard Medical University back in the NCR. It's not a requirement to be a follower to enter the university, but I believe in what they do, so I joined them. We believe that technology for basic necessities like food, water, and medicine should be shared, not hoarded. We're also strongly in favor of proper education. I've come across more than a few doctors whose techniques came out of the back of a magazine. We've worked with them in the past. The NCR became too focused on things like patents and profitability, so the followers go their own way now. The NCR and the followers have a cool relationship at the moment. We see them as oppressive, and they view us as anarchists. Yes, the Mormon Ford in Freeside. It's hard to miss. Of course! We prefer bulk donations of 500 caps. It's apparently a lot easier on the accountants for some reason. Of course! Uh -huh. Alright. Hey, well, I'll make a donation when Take I start care. buying the implants. That would be a better donation for both of us. All right, so, yeah, I mean, quite a bit of stuff going on here, um, and I am actually pretty close to Freeside, Freeside's North Gate, interesting, okay, so I'm pretty close to Freeside, and supposedly, I should be able to hear the um, radio signal in this area, theoretically, um, and then there's the Crimson Caravan there for the um, follower down in, or companion, excuse me, 
down in the Mojave Outpost. So definitely a lot of stuff going on here in Vegas now that I've made it up here. Though to be fair, it's not the uh, big city <laughs> I was expecting really. Uh, you know, you can tell there's buildings and whatnot, but I was kind of expecting something a little more grand. But I don't know why it's a Fallout game, but you know, hey, I was thinking that. Anyway, uh, you know, we, we got this quest here. I don't hurt anymore. That's completed. He did, he did say to talk to the other guys. Who knows? Anyway, I guess for now, that'll do do it for this video. And um, I guess in the next one, maybe we'll try to hunt down that um, thing that he's talking about. But, but also, I might work my way back to McCarran and um, see if, because now it's starting to get a little bit more on the daytime side, maybe if I can find some um, person selling stuff there so I can actually buy some combat armor. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.